All right. So let's look up the strategy guide here and where to go. Let me first ask that lady. Well, what is this? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Get me out of here. No. Da, la, la, la. I don't know why I wound up there. Let me, hang on. There we are. Ta it's your partner. Not even just partners. Partner. <laughs> <laughs> Good old dirt water. This is where Elliot and I had our honeymoon. Of course, it was a wilder place back then. Was it? Well, it was a while we were here. She shoots you a wink. My phone is going off. I'm getting Twitter notifications. Yep. And by the way, I still call it Twitter. I don't care if Elon changed the name. Mm-hmm. What do you think we should do next? It looks like we're going to have to fix some things for the mayor if we want to get that... Lumber. All right, so let's look that up. Let's see, bridge building, Norton runaway train. Um, I got the rock pile taken care of. So bridge building. So you must find a, a bridge to reach Frisco, the lumber bridge. Uh, complete five problems from Breadwood. Now where's Breadwood? I first have to leave t Oh, wait, I had to get on the horse. Come to Maine. And saddle up. All right. Let's get. Let's zoom out here. So, the bridge to Frisco. Um, I have to go to Breadwood. Where is Breadwood? Aha, here we are. It's a bit of a distance. I'll probably run into someone. No. Or not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why is that horse drunk? How is he walking like that? Is that Lyra? I was going to ask that first. Like, why is it standing up like Lyra? I have no idea. I should move the game a little bit. Two over there. Okay. Go to jail, Dan. Hello, Cr uh, Crimson Rain. Let's see. Are you horsing around? Yay. What's the loathing featured Edna Barth? I mean, Edna Barth's a character I'm playing. Uh, Twitter rules. Twitter for life. X sucks dick. I mean, Twitter was already <laughs> problematic. And that's mostly because yeah. of just the people. Okay, so, complete the five problems from Breadwood. Did I finish the five problems at Breadwood? Okay, Breadwood Post Office, uh, Library. Ah, here we are, problems. You read the list of... The ticket. Missing mail. The last batch of mail never made it here. Overdue book. Uh, stalled login permit. Soup shortage. Soup shortage. Um... Skeletons everywhere, missing yeast, uh, robbed bread bank. Okay, so, so let's look that up. So breadwood and the f problems. Okay, so let's look at the missing mail. So the mayor bread will suggest um, speaking to Rhineland. Da, 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 da. In order to sort out the missing mail issue, speak with at the... Redwood Bunkhouse. All right. Wait, what? No, last time a mayor let this uh, get over three items, we chased him out of town with his breadstick nailed at the top of his head. Ouch. Me and my friend want to thank you for helping the good Yeah, that's right. Everybody's been dealing with some problems. <laughs> and that's putting it very lightly, uh, lightly, lightly, lightly. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't fucking word. Uh, I think it was the bunkhouse, Breadwood bunkhouse. He will point the way to the post, uh, postal way station. Uh, come on, back in. This guy seems very focused on his beard growing. Talk to him. I already told you about the mail, you son of a biscuit. Let me be. This beard ain't going to grow itself. Actually, yes, it will. <laughs> and sometimes we forget things. It's been a while since I played the game. Hobart Herbert just chilling by the fire. It must not be a very good fire. I'm guessing this is winter or something. Still enjoying the old skeleton, uh, owl skeleton picture. Yep. Ow. The lock pen. So, Postal Way Station. Uh, is there a way to view the map? Or is that... Ah, yes, here we are. Postal Way Station. Alright. Ow. 
Oh, I gotta saddle up. <laughs> Post away station. Ah, <laughs> you see a f uh, flash of light in the dark. Corpse of trees off to the side of the trail. The smell of tang of the ozone. Three electrified cows goes afloat from the woods surrounding you. God damn it. Oh, fun. Electric cows. They're electric cows. <laughs> oh. Oh, these guys take a... These guys take a lot. Um... <laughs> Do they not take effect from the skulls? What the hell? <laughs> he just went down like a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> oh. God damn. All right, well, eat dirt. And uh, hang on, let me see if this will work. Oh. All right, I guess not. Uh, da, da. <laughs> All right, I guess that's the only thing she could do. How is it that those cows are still giving off electricity even after they're down? Eh, it's probably just leftover leftover tr electricity. Good thing you aren't playing a Nuzlocke, huh? Yeah, no, I'm not a big fan of Nuzlocke. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I you, you watched me play a little bit of it. Cow fangs. Hmm. I should take a look at that. Uh, cow fangs, brass skull ring. Oh. Well, what the hell can I do with them? There's like five of them. <laughs> Sell them, I guess. I guess. There could be a use of something. Anyways, travel to the postal station and inspect a paper sacks. Uh, it's a stack of old newspapers. Nothing else interesting. Nothing else interesting. It's a stack of old news. Somebody has removed all the funnies, so there's literally no reason to care about them. Oof. Uh, it's a stack of old newspapers. There's an article about how they had to change the name of Boot Hill Cemetery to Reboot Hill Cemetery because of all the skeletons in there coming back to life. Hmm. I guess it's that time of the year. <laughs> um, you receive a letter to Roy Bean. Do I have that letter? Wait, hang on. Let me check the. Uh... This is a cabinet full of maps, but you'll have no idea anyway what they mean. Okay, yeah, maybe. Okay, so it. You don't even know what. I I can't even pronounce that word. <laughs> Save a letter to Roy Bean and a blank postcard. Did I do that before? It's been a hot minute since I played this game. A uh, cabinet full of maps. You do not understand them. You will have to ask help from a professional. Travel to Dirtwater to ask about the maps. Where is Dirtwater? I know it's here somewhere. Destroyed campsite, breadwood. Um, Roy Bean's house. Okay, so it's all starting to like sound familiar. Why is there an outside, f uh, an outhouse inside? I don't know. So dirt water. I I've heard that name before. Where is oh? Oh, that's a long travel. Something's going to happen, isn't it? <laughs> Every time I predict something will happen, it doesn't happen. It's like it's like you're trying to get me by surprise. Oh, aren't you... I also like how the fact, like, you went short distance, you ran into something, you go long distance, there's nothing that catch you off. <laughs> I imagine just a Hercules song. I am on my way, I can go the... Oh, shit. <laughs> Dirtwater Post Office. 
right. I'm missing letters. <laughs> hey, I need some help tracking down some missing mail. What do you mean? A mail delivery went missing on the way to Breadwood, and I'm hunting it on behalf of their mayor. Their local mail station has been a bunch of route maps, but I don't know which one I need. Hmm, well that information ain't exactly secret, but I ain't supposed to just give it out either. A delivery going missing is bad news, though. I suppose it's all right just this once. Wait here a sec. After a couple of minutes, she comes back with a sheet of note paper. Okay, so each map has a code number on it, you see? Based on region and direction to travel. She explains how to work with the code you need and gives you a sheet for the reference. How many spittoons do you have? Have you searched? Um, well, I'm about to find out. Uh, da, 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 da. Can I not just select it? Hmm, I guess. Uh, postal sheet. Return to the postal station. Ah, okay. Alright, back to saddling up. Get out of the fucking way! Alright, so... Yep, the postal station. Isn't that the one at, um... Is that the one at Breadway? Oh, wait. Postalway Station. <laughs> huh. For once, I wasn't trying to predict it. Let's trespass <laughs> again. Travel towards Breadwood. You followed the map along with the route you find it. Okay. Investigate the house. Hmm, something about this house makes you look, uh, makes you suspicious. You can't quite put your finger on it. This place looks perfectly normal. After all, you can't shake the feeling that there's something very wrong going on here. Maybe you're just being paranoid. I like that it automatically takes me places without, like, running into some bullshit. Alright, so... It's locked. But it's locked to keep you out. Or keep something in? I don't know. Knock, knock at the door. A voice calls out. Come on in. It's open. It's always open. The door creaks open. And you step inside the house. The interior is an absolute nightmare. The walls are covered with rusty chain and hooks. As well as a variety of wicked looking knives and shears. A man uh, inter of intermediate age, a slightly hunched um, poster grins widely as you enter, his eyes gleaming. He's standing near a large puddle of blood on the floor? Um. Hello, my name is Chuck. Welcome to my little blood breakfast. Your what? Blood and breakfast. Oh, sorry. I have a lisp. <laughs> Host of ice? Shut up, Kuba. <laughs> <laughs> I see. People also tell me I emphasize words oddly, but I don't get that at all. Hey, Shokia, you want to voice Edna? I, I guess. Where'd you leave off? <laughs> well, I, I'm like I'm currently all caught up. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. never mind that one. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, can't help but notice you have a giant pool of blood on your floor. Blood? Oh no, no! I can see why you might think that, as this is currently a uh, blood like blood, but this is tomato soup. Tomato soup? <laughs> yes, I spilled my lunch. Very clumsy of me. I was just getting started cleaning it up when you arrived. Why is he so unsure? <laughs> <laughs> also, this place would have stank when you think about it. Yeah. Sorry, that's private. That's my blood room. Your what? My blood room. My bedroom. <laughs> this guy is 
messes up so much on his words, it's hilarious. <laughs> Um, excuse me? Yes, how can I help you? You said you're running a bed and breakfast here? That's what I slewed, yes. Could I have a look around the guest room? What's on the menu? Has a mailman uh, been recently? Let's go with this one. Has a mailman been by recently? Well, yes, my last guest was a mailman. Such a nice fellow. It's a shame he's... No longer with us. I hope you just meant that he left. I like to think he'll always be here. In spirit. Could I have a look at the guest room? It's in the cellar, but I'm afraid it's unavailable at the moment. My last guest has only just checked out, and I still need to clean up the mess. Oh. Why is it in the cellar, though? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like how she doesn't even answer that Like she doesn't even ask that She's just like oh <laughs> uh, What's on the menu Homemade sausages and Tomato soup I also have a special tea blend That's a real knockout What kind of sausages Long pork sausages My grandfather's own Recipe did you say long pork? That's right. I made them longer than regular pork sausages. They're more filling that way. This is puzzling and uncomfortable for so many different reasons. <laughs> you mentioned a special tea blend? Yes, a very herbal blend that puts my guests right to sleep. It's very effective. Huh. I like how she doesn't question anything. She's just like, oh, this is normal. <laughs> yeah, so that one's private. Shit. Hang on. Will I need a lock pin? Or to keep something in? Alright, so what kind of place is this? It's supposed to be a bed and breakfast. <laughs> All right, so Chuck's house. You talk to Chuck. And he will mention he makes tea that makes people very sleepy. Inspect his cabinets, switch labels on his boxes of sleepy time and Earl. Get... Hang on. <laughs> it's a pantry of shelf and various tins and jars on it. There's nothing very unusual, but you notice the jars of tea leaves labeled sleepy time and Earl grape. Your superstitiously swap the labels. Chuck doesn't seem to have noticed. Okay then.